Now, we need to divide a fraction by a whole number. And when we're dividing a fraction by a whole number, we don't actually do any division at all in the method. Instead, what we do is take the fraction and then multiply the denominator by the whole number. So, our numerator stays the same, and 3 times 3 is 9, so our answer is 1 ninth. Now, we have 3 fifths divided by 4. Well, we write out the fraction, and then, rather than dividing, we multiply the denominator by the number that we're dividing by. So our numerator stays the same, and 5 times 4 is 20, so our answer is 3 over 20. Now, we have 7 tenths divided by 2. So, we write out the fraction and multiply the denominator by 2. That gives us 7 twentieths as our answer. So, let's think about what dividing by 3 means. It means that we can split something into 3 pieces and keep only one of those pieces. So, if we take 1 third, split it into 3 pieces and keep only one of those pieces, you can see that we now have one part out of 9 of our fraction shaded red. So that's why our answer is 1 ninth. Now, for 3 fifths divided by 4, we can show 3 fifths. And remember, dividing by 4 is the same as finding a quarter of something. So if we shade 1 quarter of what were our 3 fifths in red, you can see that our fraction bar is now split into 20 pieces altogether, so that's our denominator, and 3 of those pieces are red, so that's our numerator. Then we had 7 tenths divided by 2. Now remember, dividing by 2 is the same as finding half of something, so if we colour half of what were our 7 tenths in red, you can see that the fraction bar is now split into 20 pieces, and we have 7 of those pieces shaded red, so that's 7 twentieths. Also notice, dividing by 2 is the same as finding a half, but it's also the same as multiplying by a half. So if we had 7 tenths times 1 half, we would do the same thing and get the same answer.